Welcome back everyone to Let's Play World Waves 2 as Germany, episode number 66. So we're well on our way to episode 70 soon, and this is kind of insane. This series has just gone on and on. Oh boy, but it has been a fun time, and I think that maybe in the future things will speed up a little bit, as they usually do as I get more familiar with the game, but um, it's been a week since I did the last recording, as I, I think I mentioned I'd be out of town for a little bit. I'm now back. And I'm trying to figure out what was going on. So don't worry, I did spend a good 10 minutes or so kind of looking at all this, the state of the ship, uh, state of the ships. Right now it's not showing me which ships are destroyed or not, but that's okay. I have a fairly good idea of what's going on. We have several um, squadrons overhead. Uh, by the way, there's been a fantastic amount of very good role play. I mean, this is par for the course at this point, but just thought I'd mention it yet again. <laughs> So it's really fun. I mean, there's just a, I have actually an idea about how I want the lore of this series to go for the rest of the rest of the series, really. Um, okay, so what are we doing on the west flank? We're pushing with our destroyers to try to torpedo the end of Atago. Oh my gosh, are you really gonna start off not being able to pronounce this? The indefatigables. We're gonna push on them. Um, this line I think is either dead or dying certainly dying um, we have this little group of ships over here that we are pushing our blukers towards so I think that's gonna be a very effective uh, screening force we'll probably get them to ultimately link up with the transports to try to try to save as many of those as possible I don't know how many transports are going down right now probably two of them if I'm remembering correctly several of them have taken bomb hits I just don't imagine it takes very many bomb hits to sink a transport. But without further ado, I guess let's go ahead and at least do one space bar to get the things going and... Oh god. So this is due to the enemy overhead. It is nice, however, that we did hit the Royal Okay, that's not important at all. Hmm. Braunschweig fire extinguished. Didn't even know she had a fire. Mars hits, so these are not important. Mars, we're gonna get back to it though. The Royal Oak and the Mars, these are the ones we don't need to worry about. Lion class here is still alive. I guess that these should show up as dead now they do okay so we do have a, a good idea of what what's going on I didn't see which direction these aircraft are headed um, another thing to note is uh, we do have on our further away division 21 is the one that's close by carrier division 13 is the one that's further away so you can see that we do have some that are basically I guess preparing to take off and I think we are gonna launch at least one of these fighters um, just to just go out and harass any kind of stuff that's going on over there. So knowing that they have a cap, I think we'll fly escort. Do you see these dive bombers in the area? So I think we'll just get an escort to go there and back. I don't know, it's hard to say. Maybe I won't do that. Okay, we'll choose anywhere for now, but I, I guess I'm gonna leave these. I don't. Oh, these guys are going to cap. Yeah, so we only have two fighters available. The cap is going to flying. That really doesn't mean anything. We don't have any um, number of aircraft of any significant amount ready to go. So probably just best to wait. The fighters will be ready with whatever group leaves next. And whenever we start readying something, we can start launching the fighters for extra whatever uh, defense. But here we do have some things ready to go. And by some things I mean not a great group. 12 fighters and 7 torpedo bombers. 7 torpedo bombers is something. What about sending them like up here? That's 80 nautical miles for division carrier division 13 
I mean, they're gonna. This is gonna be a very quick trip for them. I think that may, we may even want to launch them a little bit further. I'm gonna wait. Just wait a little bit longer. Maybe we can get some more people to join. Ah, they're approaching carrier 21. I can't remember if you guys have taken hits. Yeah, is a big Z has taken a hit. But the Nord Rhine Vestphalen is completely okay. Looks like nine dive bombers. We do have one cap up. That's not a whole lot of cap. So we may be in for some uh, some problems here. I, I'm actually kind of thinking we're lucky that they're dive bombers because the dive bombers only have 1,000 pound bombs. Uh, whereas we have 1,400 pound bombs, I believe. Okay, good. So we are eliminating uh, one friendly cap attacks. Oh, so we're dividing our efforts over two or four torpedo bombers. Yeah, we're not going to do anything here. In fact, our fighter gets shot down by a torpedo bomber. Yikes. That's not good. <laughs> anyway, we're doing some good stuff against the lion. Is she like rolling over now? I'm sure she's going down. These are not going down, but they've taken several. Oh, you are going down, so you are not. Let's get these guys not to launch torpedoes quite yet. Sighting range is reduced by 10%. We might get these guys to also deploy their smoke. Um, smoke is going to be less, I mean, the visibility is going to be kind of, I, I would say, less and less important compared to saving our destroyers. Uh, we probably don't need to push so hard on this indefatigable because she's probably going down. She has a lot of torpedoes if she even pushes at all. We, we have, like, kind of committed our forces there, but in hindsight, I'm not sure if we should have. Anyways, the Sternbringers are moving over to the eastern, the stronger flank. We do have our other ships pushing east. Okay, I think we're going to be okay, but we're going to go another turn. Here we go. Um, three enemy dive bombers are attacking the turpits. Wow. Can you believe that? They did very, very well. I guess we're not... What? Are, what is your... Oh, you have... You even have decent AA. Huh. Well, that's not good. Turpits, how are you doing overall? Yeah, that, that was actually a pretty bad hit. I mean, the bridge destroyed means she's not going to be very effective as a fighter. Probably going to just drag her off and get her to disengage from the fight entirely. Okay. I, I've lost a lot of momentum, for sure. Um being away for a week and not really know what's going on here. Fire control damage. My god, what the hell's going on? Suddenly we just having some real bad luck. But we had a really we had relatively good luck in this fight. I shouldn't I don't want to complain too much. Things are going well for us in this fight. Obviously we're way ahead. I think I will just go ahead and launch our last whatever is left. 21. This is the closer group. Um we will just go ahead and ready this group of 3. We will ready this, that's it. Well, we'll ready this group of three then. These guys should be going up to cap. Why is it just one going up to cap? It should be like this, eight going up to cap, that's good. We'll ready the group of three, that's, it's something, you know, it's not a lot, but it's something. And 13, what do we have here? Yeah, mm, I'm not gonna send groups of, yikes, one. But I guess I will send uh, the fighters and torpedo bombers. The theory here is that the more people, I mean, the more fighters I can send should just eliminate their stuff. So let's get them to attack somewhere up here. Maybe a little bit too far. I kind of want them to air a little bit further to the east so that we can go over this group. So we'll launch that strike. We'll see what that. We'll see what happens with that. 
Hey man, they're just they're being very effective. Carl Dunnitz is taking some hits now. Turret was destroyed. Pfft, geez. And the turret top of these uh, Sturmbringers is something fierce. Six inches or something? I'm actually calling BS on that. I don't think that they have anything which is heavy enough to penetrate. Good lord. Even five inches of deck. How that... A thousand pound bomb penetrating five inches of armor? You want to give the en enemy... Uh, the enemy. The enemy, true. But you want to give the aim the benefit of the doubt. But five inches of deck is a lot for anything a bomb to, to, to penetrate. Ah, I can feel, I feel very out of the flow. <laughs> okay, this one finally looks like she's going to be going down. Um, we may have to pull off the Sturmbringer here and let the rest of her group continue. At 63%, very little flooding. She, I mean, she's still, they're, they're such big, beefy, well-armored ships that even the damage she has done, you can see it's still not enough to really knock her out of the fight. But, yeah... We'll stick to 24 and just let her fall behind slowly and see how we want to deal with her from there. But we definitely have, obviously, we're, we're definitely in, encountering some kind of uh, carriers and we want to hunt these down. So they are able to turn north and away. Just the wind actually is helping them escape. I know you're going down, but I'm also... Again, taking into account the fact that um, we want you to change target, actually, to this indefatigable. Because the line is basically going down. So let's get this whole group, actually, to target the new, well, this new target, indefatigable. And we know that for sure that Arena will be targeting that. But the Rhine should also switch up. Okay, and you have a lot of torpedoes, eight. Should we just get you to sink this indefatigable a little bit faster? I think, I think so. We'll launch ourselves, manually launch um, some torpedoes. Okay, how is everything else going? This bar floor, oh, we didn't, we haven't really even looked at the turn. Stoll's got a hit on this bar floor, which is, yeah, very heavy ship. Uh, we just need to continue to pelt these guys, make sure they're out of the fight entirely. Oh, no. So the Nordrhein did take a bomb hit. We did destroy and damage some aircraft. I kind of like this. Uh, all the aircraft are like slowly getting damaged and everything, so that essentially what we're doing is eliminating the air as a viable... Uh, means of attack so slowly but steadily we're reducing this to a surface action fight obviously the aircraft have already had a huge impact I might go ahead and turn these guys away or let's send them uh, what are what's their current idea they're turning west yes yeah, so they're turning west I'm gonna turn them uh, even southwest west by southwest They are really landing a lot of hits suddenly, which is a little bit surprising. I would have thought that they, at this point, were running out of airplanes. So, guess not. Two more hits on the line. Yeah, she's she's a goner. Yeah, she's officially dead. Um, we'll get this group. Probably can't launch torpedoes because there is very clearly friendlies. Up, oh, up. Oh, guess they don't care. Yeah, I think we'll just sink her a little bit faster and then pull her away. Um, you guys need to shift off east. Looks like everything on the west is dead now. Okay, let's continue to move forward. middle of the pack is this oh god they destroyed a uh, turret too no they didn't that's smoke okay <laughs> Hannibal taking a hit is this one that's yeah this is a real danger a lion getting pelted by our light cruiser for some reason 
So the Kaiser Penguin, you are... I guess you can target her. Maybe have this whole group just hold fire for 10 minutes while we let the lion get destroyed by the Oxford and her torpedoes is, I think, what's going to happen here. So we're pushing her so that the good news is that she um, she is going to have to move faster and she'll take more flooding from that. Good lord, this is so stupid. Oh, all my do not fire, do not launch torpedoes, all those things are reset every time we load the game, I forgot. Whoops, that's not good. Turpets is going to pull away though, that's fine. Okay, so let's just keep pushing, because I think we... More or less. Wow, all four hit. Yeah, we'll, we'll pick up survivors. Um, that should bring her down a lot faster. This one does not look like she's able to keep up. Lion is dead. Go ahead and launch torpedoes at her just as soon as we can, which is now. Just to get her out of the way. Let's get these guys to stop firing for 10 minutes at least. I might just pull off from this battle. I mean, I know that we're really doing well, but at the same time, I'm starting to lose the coherence of what I wanted to do. We're taking damage. We want new aircraft. I mean, I guess we, we obviously are still going to need to escort these ships, so... Nah, I guess I can't really... Oh, ooh, that's that is, that is very good. Three 17-inch hits on this Hannibal. She's probably not feeling very good right now. Um, that looks good. So we can launch some with the Blitzgeschutz as well. These are very unlikely to be able to use their torpedoes for anything else. So we'll use them here. We'll make sure that the arena von Hohenzollern is uh, well noted or well notes the arrival of torpedoes in her vicinity. Ooh, we did have a torpedo tube hit Okay, but this is the one that took the hit, and that is from the Indefatigable. Yeah, that's the one I was a little bit worried about, is it's really hard to pursue like this. It just gives them so much time to rake you. Um, have we actually been able to hit that one yet? No. Well, they are s deploying smoke. I think we will just continue to pull away, and maybe the G42 is the one who ultimately will have to go in and help out. Yeah, that hit on the belt on the Hannibal was very valuable though. Let's get these guys to shift east. We want everyone to kind of shift east here. Even the Koenig after she took her torpedo. Actually, she does have a fair amount of flooding. We'll knock her down to 20 knots. Here's the Eloy. <laughs> I forgot that she's a uh, her adventures are being well documented. Yeah, I think that I'll, I'll probably keep the Carnal Donuts going this way. She's taken two bomb hits. Yeah. A little surprising though that they can really keep up the, the fire at this point. It's it's impressive that they have they have more aircraft out there than I expected, that's for sure. And our aircraft somewhere should be oh my gosh, are they really only this far? It's one recon. It's not going to get anything done. Recon. So the flying boats are not, it appears, even going to try to engage. I mean, neither, I guess, are the medium bombers. Unless... Yeah, that's cap. So we do want this group to move in so that their cap overlaps a little bit more. That would be really nice. Alright, so what are we doing here? We want to push more east because we're pushing them east. And it's just how it goes, right? We want to <laughs> pursue the enemy. Yeah, we're, it looks like we're going to be doing that, though. Basically, the arena is somewhat alone in her in going after the indefatigable. I think that one's going to sink anyway. Yeah, well, let's shift east. Okay, lion has been hit. What is What else is happening here? Royal Oak also taking... Surprised that these guys are still alive. Prince of Wales taking a hit. Five-inch shell, though. 17 inch hit on, of course, the lion. Who's firing at her? So we'll have to 
get this group to not fire. So Stalarnes could go after the bell bar floor. Yes, perfect. Um, two hits on the Hannibal, that's fantastic. Oh, that's really good. Riddle, indefatigable. Oh, wait. Oh, good. Good, good, good. Lion, lions. Okay, those are Graf von Eisen. Who are you, Graf von Eisen? Should probably get you to change targets as well. I think I want you to move north, uh, like east, so we'll just get you to stop firing for 10 minutes. It's a little bit weird, but you know, those get those crews um, a quick smoke break. And Von Tufel Schiff is also engaging. I guess that one's part of the Graf von Eisen group. Yeah. Okay, good. We'll get those guys to have a break as well. And the Riddle taking some hits. I think this is the one that's already sinking, though. So, oh, no. Well, then good. Get rid of her. And Sturmbringer able to absorb the heavy blow from the Prince of Wales, which is what? I forgot what she's sporting. 16-inch guns. Yep. That's some, certainly something to be worried about. We did avoid another, or a near miss on the on this indefatigable. Again, I'm still hoping that the arena is able to kind of shell her from a distance to keep her from really returning fire adequately. Um, let's take a look at 13 to see, yeah, everything's one, 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 that's fine. Let's take a look at 21. Uh, they can't even launch right now. Some of them, the Nordrhine can't launch her cap. I wish I could switch more fighters to cap, like this group. Oh, you're ready to go. Well, this is a little bit weird, but let's just have you launch and go over here. Uh, I'm just gonna launch them to essentially find the carriers. That line class is going down in a hurry, hopefully. Whole hit, Royal Oak, Gribble, Lion, taking some secondary barrage. 16 inch hit on the Indefatigable, very good. That's very good. Um, minor fire, 17 inch hit, ooh, 17 inch hit. That's quite good. And the Hannibal took another hit. I think she might even be dead. Well, I mean, she's not officially dead yet, but she will be. This Hannibal class is alive, or what? Ah, this is the one that took a few bombs, but she's still looking like she's a fierce competitor out there. So we're gonna rely on the Blukers to shield from her, and maybe even to take her out. So nobody should be engaging those. Yeah, Bluker, let's get you to switch your target to the Hannibal, other Hannibal. And I will allow multiple ships to target her since we have um, a lot of things which reduce our penalties for doing that. So we get three. I mean, it's useless for them to focus on anything else, right? So interprets, I know that you're going to slowly move away. Oh, God, crew quality is down to negative one because she's taken so many hits. <laughs> They certainly have a lot of stuff coming at us. I think at this point we really just gotta turn away. And unfortunately that means the transports will be left for dead. I don't want to do that. I'm not seeing much choice though. We don't wanna lose strategic assets. Obviously the transports are not strategic assets. It will solve the problem that we wouldn't actually have to um, force the invasion by, by editing the save game if I just lose. <laughs> It's always that. Okay. Yeah, so we already have our courses set in basically. Another hit on the indefatigable, but no, these are small. That's the wrong one. Oh good, we did hit her with a 16 inch gun. Yeah, let's get the destroyers to go back in. 
She's still cruising along. Well done, it's... Yeah, and we're still taking hits, unfortunately, as well on the arena. She's doing all, She's doing okay, though. Oh, main gun cut down. Main gun crew cut down. Non-penetrating hit on our turret. That's about what we expect. Ah, darn it. Missed with the big guns. And two more big hits on this Hannibal. Well, I don't think... She's probably going to be disappearing below the waves very soon. We probably... Oh, who do I have? Whoops, not you. You can go this way. But I, I need this group to even pursue a more aggressive Easter, easterly direction. Get the light cruisers to follow suit. Get pre pretty much everyone to follow suit. Penguin, Kaiser Penguin, all them. The other ships. Okay, keep moving. All right. Wow, two penetrating hits on the arena in this one. That is not good. She's still doing okay, but we do not want to risk losing her. She's been through so much. I remember some like two months ago, probably it was in real life, but um, she survived like this eight torpedo barrage. <laughs> Indefatigable. Oh, good. We got two 60 inch. So they actually exchanged blows very evenly. And three more hits on this Hannibal. Wow. Really starting to take her apart. And I think she's going to be dead any moment now. And then we'll, we'll have to switch up. So they do have some aircraft coming in. Speaking of... No bomb hits this time. Very good. Ah, two Jason turrets destroyed. That whole thing again. Probably this one won't even make it to the target. We'll have to get them to detach. I think I'll turn her in, though. Oddly enough. Get these guys to still cruise as fast as possible. Get her to turn in. She can go back and maybe launch her torpedoes at the indefatigable. Speed up her demise. Um, okay, good. So we do have some. They're moving back. Damn. Let's see what happened. Uh, bomb hit by the stern on the Sternbringer, but her deck absorbed it. Well, five inches. I'm not too surprised. Two 17 inch shells hitting the Hannibal, and she's on fire. She's gonna go down. Three make it. 17 inch, 17 inch hit on the Indefatigable, and some small arms fire, which four inch guns is not really small arms fire, but it is when you're dealing with these things. D, uh, G42 took a hit. A deck hit, which did not penetrate the arena. Okay. Excuse me. Um, yeah, I don't really know. I'm, I'm just kind of in a weird state right now. I'm not sure exactly what I should be doing. This ribble looks kind of dangerous. I'm going to send these guys to uh, in all directions to kind of fan out. Yeah, she's dead. Okay, no bomb hits still and we are destroying aircraft i'm not really keeping track but boy are we destroying the aircraft well they only sent three dive bombers uh, that's probably not a very good idea again i still think that sending only a few aircraft that i think part of the i'm not sure like this is not official this is like my feel for it based on who knows my understanding of history is that it, it was kind of this idea that the more aircraft you send, even at like a single target, even like over, it was almost like overkill was welcome because they just thought aircraft would be more effective that way. But we are still hitting the indefatigable, unfortunately not with our big guns. I'm gonna turn the G42 away just because she might end up 
preventing us from launching torpedoes. Well, I'll actually turn her in. Okay, lots are happening, lots is happening. Uh, another aircraft damaged, another aircraft damaged. Three more dive bombers here, and one dive bomber there. Well, that's, how does one dive bomber get damaged twice? Does it get destroyed if it's damaged and then it gets damaged again? That, I mean, just like as a simple system, that kind of makes sense to me. Looks like these guys are firing now, the Bismarck. Wow, the Carl Don Donuts just went right through the lion. Let's get them to disengage for another 10 minutes. Your target should be, and I will change it to be, the only operational ship in this area. So we'll do all that so that you start targeting the correct ship. Otherwise, it's basically up to the arena to finish this off while everyone else will head east in pursuit. Which means that we're probably going to let those carriers get away, but I don't have any idea where they are. I guess I can send some light cruisers up there. Okay, two aircraft damaged. Th out of three dive bombers, two were damaged. I can imagine that it's not going to make it very easy for them to do anything. Ah, okay, so the Foxhounds have now, the Foxhound and the Amazon, I should say, have now decided to commit to their defense. I'm just going to pull my destroyers away. You know, I'm actually kind of confident that we're going to sink this ship. Even if we don't, it's not a big deal. The Indefatigables are 14-inch. Yeah, they're like the easiest ships to deal with out of all the things we're dealing with. So I'm just going to let it go. I'm not going to push that, force the issue, and end up losing some destroyers that really I didn't need to. Uh, perhaps a mature decision. <laughs> a rare mature decision. Ugh, decision. Prawn Swag will get her to go this way. Where are you guys? Your escorting the Sturmbringer is good. That's good. They're way over here, by the way. I don't know where you're going. Um, yeah. So then we'll let everyone else head east. We'll send the Oxhoft and her group of two northward and suit and search the carriers. So that'll be interesting. Lots of stuff getting destroyed. Oh, look at it. one aircraft was destroyed and damaged. Even though there's only one dive bomber. <laughs> okay, so we're getting out of there. This is a good decision, I think. Um, we're still targeting these dead dead ships this Hannibal is ooh hey one of our blookers finally landing some hits where they count we're still fo focusing on this one which is good we actually destroyed her rear turret with that last uh, shell which is fantastic yeah and then we're destroying their dive bomber so hey you look if they're having some good effect with groups of only three I will reconsider launching my groups of just three or whatever. Are you flying? Are you, uh, you're not going to be able to fly. I don't think you're... Are you better now? Yeah, you're on fire. <laughs> Why don't you guys put out that fire before you, you know, deal with launching the aircraft. I'm pretty sure you'll want to. This Ribble, I have not been paying attention, but I assume she's dead. Why would... Yeah. Why would we get this close if she wasn't already dead? Okay. And we're moving in the direction of the transports as well. 35 minutes just really limping along, I feel. More aircraft damage. Wow. Okay. Hannibal's taking some really gruesome hits now. I guess she's dead. So we'll have to start focusing on other ships now. Sternbringer did take a few more hits. I think I'm just going to pull her completely off the line. We'll send her south. Okay, what else? This rebel taking a lot of hits. Lion. 
irrelevant, Hannibal, dead. Uh, two more hits that are going to count against this ship, which still trying to escape. One of them would have, I think, I mean, they were both hit by a bunch of torpedoes, right? So again, that's still my hope is that we just force her to run a little bit and she'll sink herself. Plenty more hits against this Hannibal. So, okay, yeah. We're going to have to officially target something else. Let's target the Prince of Wales. And ye, who's the front runner? Yeah. You are going to specifically target the Prince of Wales directly. Okay, good. She's moving very slow, that Hannibal. I had eyes on her that time. Uh, what is still attacking us? Four more attacking. Jeez. There's a lot of aircraft. Two more hits on the Hannibal. G87 is launching torpedoes. That's... Against whom? Wow, interesting. Against the destroyers, though, of course. Well, let's not have you do that. Yeah, so we're kind of clearing the, the space for um, the arena just to keep picking around, keep picking away. Is her secondary the Rhine? Max speed for these guys is... I mean, this group is capable of pursuing those... Oh, wait. 21. So the Rhine's also has a speed of 21? Ah, that's funny. They're both together damaged enough to the point where they can only go 21 knots. Alright, Hannibal's still taking a lot of hits. Sternbringer, let's have you switch over to the ball... F bar... That other ship, the bar floor as well, but you can't switch at all yet. Okay, that's fine. We'll get you next turn then. Slowly limping along. Eloy, what are you doing here? Let's go, make a move. Look lively. Okay, another aircraft damaged. Aircraft destroyed. 111, that's really impressive. I'm very happy with the amount of heavy anti-aircraft we're putting up. Some hits on the Hannibal, so, oh gosh, oh my gosh, where did those torpedoes come from? <gasps> of course, our Sturmbringers have torpedo launchers. Well, that's actually a good thing. You know what, Sturmbringer, don't exactly head south quite yet. You might not like what you find. Let's get these guys to stop launching torpedoes just for a moment here. I will actually command them to launch any other torpedoes that they have because this is a good use of their torpedoes. It saves their heavy shells, which are frankly more important. Sturmbringer is actually completely unarmed for the moment. <laughs> She's, all her turrets are damaged. Um, we do not want you guys engaging the Hannibal. No, not at all. Let's focus on this Prince of Wales and probably manually even target because I think it's important enough try to get her yeah and then you guys are heading north very good oh, we actually hit this amazon as well Ooh, two five inch shells good scare her off Hannibal is hit by a torpedo it's probably the first of many to come <laughs> um rivals you know taking some damage lion yeah, a nothing turn, but that's fine. We're going to get through these nothing turns. And is she dead stop now? She doesn't seem to be moving. Oh, you are... What are you doing? Huh. I don't know. We're just trying to figure it all out here. You guys must be launching right now. That's fine. Still more air enemy aircraft. There's tons of them. Well, we got two more 16 inch shell hits. I'm gonna call, I'm just gonna call time of death on that ship. We're gonna tuck in for the incoming wave and uh, just 
prepare to move north towards the carriers. Obviously, we don't want to deal with the carriers. Like, they're potent enough that this is not good, right? Having to buddy up, condense ourselves. It's not ideal. Okay, so uh, now that that torpedo launching is hopefully done, you are screening. I'm actually going to take you off, make you manually controlled. Wait. I have two Oxhoffs. Whether well, that's a bug. Uh, Ryan was hit on the deck, but our armor is pretty good on the deck. Ribble taking damage. Hannibal. It's already sinking. Oh, where are you? What are you doing? Let's get you to maybe tar. Uh, let's have you. Uh, 21 maybe step up a little bit yeah that's right you took a torpedo hit and Carmel Donuts. did you reattach or something I think you did well you're doing okay so that's okay feel free to do that yeah still landing some hits on that I think that we've done our job there go ahead and land the whatever hits yeah another 16 inch hit Go ahead and land whatever parting hits we want with the torpedoes she's took, she's taken and the uh, heavy shells. I'm gonna call her dead. We got a Prince of Wales hit. Nice, very nice. And Boeing class, that's good, very good. Oh, you've actually taken some heavy damage. Let's get you out of the fight. Okay, one aircraft destroyed. These are dive bombers coming in, and no bomb hits. Two hits on the wear, that's nice. Uh, Hannibal is being targeted by the Stoles. Why uh, is the Stoles? Is the Stoles the only one I didn't tell not to fire? Let's set up on the Prince of Wales. Everyone targeting the Prince of Wales now. <laughs> Poor her. Yeah. Okay, it all looks good. Keep pushing on. No bomb hits, but no aircraft hits in this one. Ooh, D-65 took a heavy hit. These Boeing classes are hitting hard. Six four-inch guns. Actually, we have eight four-inch guns, so technically, at least in theory, we should be out swinging against her. But she's definitely still kicking. And painfully. Painfully so. Um, you guys are moving a little bit out of the way. I think that's a good idea. We can move you actually just due north now. Okay, I think we're okay. Let's let's, let's start to get into more of a... Ah! Where do I move? Hey! Perfect timing. Prince of Wales. Ooh, what a perfect barrage. Three 17-inch shells. Indefatigable also taking some hits. The wrong one. Wow, Ryan, what are you doing? Uh, let's get you to target the correct... The correct one. The one that we're not sure if it'll escape or not. Hannibal took a hit from the Kaiser Penguin. Hard to track down all these ships. Let's just tell you guys to stop firing for 10 minutes. I don't think you guys have any valid targets, really. Yeah, these might all be sinking. Certainly there's a lot of damage down here. Yeah, this one's actually going down. So it must have been some pretty severe damage against her in the, the previous attacks. Ammo is still plenty of ammo. Let's get you to engage the bar floor as well, since we know now that it's useless to be targeting this Hannibal. And we'll get you to still target the Hannibal because you're too far away to... No, you aren't. Yeah, you are too far away. Sight range is reduced. So, could get you to attack the Boeing, but I think that that ship is actually going down now thanks to the efforts of our destroyers. She did take... Yeah, she took two more hits. Good job, S-65. That's perfect. 
Get in there, knock her around, and she is going down. Very good. So you're now acting as basically forward scouts. You took enough damage that I'm going to have you head back and just torpedo the crap out of everything back here. Um, I'll have you start by engaging the destroyer that should already sink. I may actually put a, a torpedo into this Boeing. Nah, that's not going to be worth it. It's fine. Okay, let's keep going. More aircraft. Aircraft destroyed, aircraft damaged. Well, one only one came in, so I guess it's just dead. The bar floor, very good. We took a took a 17-inch shell. Prince of Wales also taking some damage. I mean, we have them on the ropes at this point. It's it's just almost it's all over. The fat lady has sung, right? She hasn't sung quite yet. No, but things are looking very good right now. Send these guys up a little bit more northerly. I actually want them to meet up with this group eventually. That would be the ideal. So let's get you guys just to head north. That's going to be where you're most effective. We'll keep pushing. So we have actually kind of cut off this group of destroyers. I'm not even sure what they're doing. Oh, look at this. Yeah, detach anybody who's not really doing their thing. Um, very good turn. Just, I'm not even really going to pay attention. Bar floor. Oh, this is actually really good. Yeah, we want to sink her. It's a nice design. Hannibal, Hannibal, Hannibal. Yeah, okay. Not much to say. Really running out of time here as well. Hannibal is hit by some more torpedoes. Oh god, we're very close to her. Oh god. Let's take evasive action. Set the Koenig. The Oxhoff, maybe. I don't know. Okay, well, we'll figure it out. Um, not a whole lot of targets left, frankly. Oh, the Koenig has decided to light up on the Hannibal, and we don't want her to do that. Let's get you to engage the bar floor as well. What other targets really are there? There's really not a whole lot to even target. really Prince of Wales or Bar Floor, and we have several ships engaging the Prince of Wales right now, so let's go after the Bar Floor, put her down, and we can continue east. Oh, wow. Can I find out where these ten Falk Wolf are? Where are they? Actually going to be really hard to see. Is it them? Those are escorts. This? Oh, that's seven. Here? I don't even know why we have Rincon up. What are these? What, I mean, what are these doing? S. Is S float plane? Should be FS, I thought. Oh, gosh, no. Oh, we didn't sink them fast enough. <laughs> okay, well, if, if that's the way this is going to go, then... Okay, what are you doing, buddy? Okay, let's get this G42 to target the Indefatigable over there. Let's get you to target this Lion class. And let's just blow the little the you know, crap out of those so that they are hopefully no longer targeted. Animal's just getting... <laughs> Punished. Yeah, detach anyone who can't. That's actually going to help me. Wow, that's a weird thing. So you can go this way. Now you guys can go up north. Um, we're attacking a flying plane with our one cap. Okay, Barfleur took a 16 inch hit. That's good news. She probably has some other damage, residual damage from earlier in the fight. This Prince of Wales is, well, I think we are gonna run her down. 
we have our okay so i'm gonna call this video to a close here i know it's just eking over the 50 minute mark but not even just because of that but because this is kind of like a warm-up video for me this is gonna be what the f this was i think the fifth part or fourth part so we'll be on number five or six next episode that's incredible so anyways um forgive that this one moved at a little bit of a slower pace let me just sneak in another turn and uh yeah I'm getting back into the swing of it, and hopefully we can... We'll see what happens with this event, um, with this battle, I should say, if it ends up rewarding me for the, the actual invasion. I've heard a lot of reports that, it, no, it does not right now. So, that's uh, a little unfortunate. We'll see what we uh, what we need to do in the at the end of this. And we'll rename the Oxhoft, one of these two at least, to something else. So for now, thanks for watching, and until the next video, take care.